Welcome guys to another thing of Tire Defense X. Please ignore this, I'm I'm way too poor. As you guys can see, there's some new UI on the bottom, the new tower loadout little thingies, as well as now your little player icon, and it has little stats. This will be used for the amount of wins, and this will be used for your rank. Uh, that does not work currently, and this does not work currently either. This is the amount of gold or coins you have. The models are a bit wonky right now. This guy has errors of his texture. This guy has errors of his lightning because the way he was made. This guy is good. This was made by a bishop and it looks good. Ah, oh, man, elevators are operational. Time to go in one. Oh, by the way, maps do rotate now. This is one of the uh, first maps to come out for Tartarus X, just a classic style Roblox map. And he's got some new UI in the bottom. Doesn't really matter too much. And we also have some new UI changes as well. So now to upgrade, there's no little plus button right here. We have removed that and it's set the whole thing you can now upgrade. This makes it much easier to go ahead and upgrade your towers only in TDS. And when you put your mouse over here, it'll list some information. The fire rate being increased, or rather decreased. The range being increased, and the burst size being increases. I'm going to give myself some cash, and let's say an ability appears uh, right here. See, grenade level will also appear, and will display that information as well. And another one will display as well for the M203 incendiary round. Self detection also appears, and when the tower can detect self, it'll have this green icon right here. Towers that do not detect stealth will not display that, so that's how you know in TDX if your tower has stealth texture or not. Alright, this is all temporary UI. This is more so advanced settings that will be toggable on or off by the player. Shotgunner. 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 I'm going to just skip all these ways real quick because I want to show you guys the new winning screen and also the losing screen. And stealth of automation is, remember, for now, only ranger detects uh, stealth. There will be more towers, of course, that detect stealth, but for now, ranger. Yes, there's one only Plague Doctor. Now, Plague Doctor has all of his abilities working. The blue one, he sprays down and it'll lower down their range by half. He also sends out a bird every now and then to go and stun a tower and does a ground slam Chris Brown attack that stuns all your towers for about two seconds. It shouldn't last that long. I should, I should make that last... Uh, a bit less did. There's a bird that comes out, it'll stun your tower for I think a solid six seconds, what we wanted it to be. He has way too few health, there's way too much health, there's way too much damage. Oh, he spawns in a bunch of crap as well. The red is directed rangers and knights, and red lowers the reload time. Yeah, the fire rate. Oh, we already won. Yes! Look at this, this is so cool. Look at this UI, it's so goddamn hot, man. When you win, by the way, all your towers will do a little, uh, victory emo thing i really love these animations man shout out to epa 5k it's funny though because i gave him a reference for this you can see on my twitter and he did almost exactly the thing i did for the uh juggernaut here god man i love the juggernaut oh man i love seeing it this is exactly like plan two juggernauts side by side just like that yeah 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 <laughs> oh uh, we still have to send her a text someone, and you may notice continuing game here in TDX. One of our core values is replayability. By by continuing the game, you can get all the way to wave 101 on any game mode. Of course, it'll be artificial difficulties placed in as well, meaning that every zombie will get uh, 25 more health per wave or 25% more. We haven't really balanced that out yet, but I'll do some wave balancing like that. Only in TDX. God damn, I love this, man. It's so cool to see this. Can't wait for all you guys to see this in-game as well. Return to lobby, please. Thank you. Return to lobby. There, there you go. There you go. By the way, there will be more victory emotes later on in the future. Don't worry about it. Uh, for now, it's just those. Now, let's go and see the losing screen. Uh, good thing we can speed up the losing process by three times. That's always nice. Speedy zombies. Speedy zombies. Or rather, fast zombies. You know, it's the same guy that I'm thinking since Tower Bottles. Down, 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 fast zombies. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Look at the little defeat screen. Oh, by the way, I place on a target because nothing occurs. It just sits there and stares into the abyss. The song for this is such a banger, though. Take a listen. <laughs> Isn't it so sad? This is so deep <laughs> for a game about towers. Shout out to Trudeau for making this wonderful GFX. This looks hot, man. Military Harbor, my favorite map. But yeah, 
elevator is now cycled through mass. We need to add in more. I forgot to tell them to do that. Oops. Now I want to focus more to Plague Doctor because he really get a good fair shot at it. Anyways, he will change colors based on his uh, spray gun. For blue, he will lower the range of all towers and his affected radius by 50% or so. He has another attack with the bird, just flies out and stuns a tower for about five seconds or so. Plague Doctor will also do a spawn or summon as well, resurrecting rangers from the dead and knights as well. They all have a lot of HP, so he could punch through defenses really fast. I may actually nerf him because this, this might be a bit too OP. Oh, look, he changed red. God, he looks so cool. Uh, green will lower all the damage by half. So it's pretty cool. This boss doesn't really do the spam stun attack that we're all used to seeing. It more so does, you know, cool stuff. He does still do the ground stun attack as well, though. So don't think just because uh, we're we're a different game, we're not going to do that. Although it doesn't last as long. Mm, love seeing that blue spray. By the way, red spray will go ahead and lower the fire rate by about 50% as well. Basically, he is true to what the whiteboard states. Uh, the colors didn't align because I think a trash screwed it up a bit. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that later, you guys. I, I promise. Ah, uh, yeah, spray my two rangers, you fool. By the way, he targets the most expensive towers closest to him. He will not target cheap towers to go ahead and uh, trick him, I guess. Oh, and upon reaching low health, he released Black Smoke. Oh, well, he wasn't alive enough. <laughs> Oops. And nice, we got all the towers dancing again. God, I love seeing this all the time, man. Yeah, Plague Doctor, I'm giving you 10,000 more health. Thanks, I'll balance you later. Also, just for fun, for the last wave, there's only uh, one Plague Doctor. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Oily Rig, my favorite map. Oh, there's more maps in the game. They're just not programmed yet. 100 towers, I can now play sound. Yay! There's so much damn clicking. I'm also on 99 towers. Just one more tower. All right, guys, we have a force to reckon with. We have a corner of a shotgun over here doing all the crowd spam. Have Ranger Path 2 with Napalm rounds, or rather incinerating rounds to deal with spam as well. Rangers on top to deal with stealth guys. And a bunch of max out juggernauts. Path 1 and 2. Path 2 for DPS, which is usually around the corners. And Path 1 for long range while dealing still good damage. I buffed Path 2, so now it has 450 DPS. That's uh, pretty insanely high for a uh, tower that only yields a, a giant minigun. For reference, the green path, top path one, only has 214 DPS. As you already know what it is. Easy peasy already. Damn, Abominators are just getting killed so damn hard. Skip the wave again. More Abominations. This is the last wave before the last wave. Uh, wave 24. Man, we are absolutely decimating these guys. This is easy mode, so please remember that before you start to say, This looks too easy, John. Well, most of y'all are not going to be able to use Juggernaut in easy mode. Okay, we are in the final wave, so I expect to see 10 Plague Doctors to spawn at once, or between 0.5 seconds in between each other. Haha, <laughs> the song in the background. So yeah, now we got 10 Oh my god! Do the Rangers getting absolutely destroyed! Oh man! And they all do synchronized attacks! So the thing in TDX is that most bosses are randomized, which is kind of boring. Uh, it's, it's RNG days until this Dan has a lot of birds. God damn. Oh, uh, we don't have multiple health bars either. We gotta look individually like this, which is not that hard. Oh my god! Dude, they're spawning so much! They're spawning so much FPS! I'm getting 66 FPS with all this going on. Dude, that's actually really good! Grenade! 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 Throw your grenade! Damn it! Throw your grenade! <laughs> oh man, the grand slam attack! It's so much! Come on! <laughs> All these towers are now worthless. Do your work, do your work. Grenade, 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 grenade! They're all taking the same rangers! No! They have lower damage! I uh, think we got a. Yeah, our first Plague Darker did die. We got a second one going down. Uh, third one should be going down here any moment now. Damn, I really don't know if we're gonna be able to win this or not. This seems like it's insanely hard. Especially all the stuff it spawns is just punching right through. Shotgunner is getting almost a thousand damage per per shot again. And ooh, this one's gonna be close. Is this gonna be close? Actually, it's not gonna be close. Look at that. We're gonna lose, damn it. It still has way too much damn health. Well, we got another plague doctor down. Oh boy, and the ground slam attack just absolutely destroyed everything. It's targeting the same dude. <laughs> 
By the way, that does not stack, because usually there's never going to be more than one Plague Doctor. Ah, god damn, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, I gotta move some stuff. Come on, shotgunners. Do your thing. Blast them away, come on. Come on, I know you can do it. It's not dealing enough damage. Sure, it's dealing a lot of damage per, per shot, but it's just not dealing enough. Um, I think this is GG, guys. Um, here, I'm just desperately... Last attempt, desperate, come on. Come on, move, 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 move. Come on, come on. Uh, e grenade! Oh, no, no, it's not enough! No! <laughs> Damn it! Did the plague doctors still work? Yep, they still work. God, that is a lot of stuff being spawned. And I'm still getting good frames. 80 frames per second on max graphics. Uh, yep, max graphics. Nice. They sound pretty fun when y'all walk. Just sounds like thud spam. Nice, shoot that. Oh, wait, no, they're, they're actually shooting at a tower. So right now, just use a spray gun. Uh, for all this range right here, or path walkway rather, there's no tower, so won't use the spray gun again until you detect the tower. This is to prevent those dumb, wasteful attacks that are just kind of make no sense. We kind of prevented that problem here. Wow, just insult energy. Yeah, like I said, not until it's within range of a tower, it won't spray his gun. And all the birds attack. Yes, stun the juggernaut. Stun the juggernaut. Nice, guys. I think we have lost the game. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, pretty much I got the showcase. Plague Doctor took a really long time to program because we didn't have anything really already coded of it. It was just built from scratch up. Unlike these towers, they can reuse some of the code. So there will be more towers in the next video. I really want two at least for a showcase some more in the all new TDX video next time.